Hello and welcome back to Digital Assets Daily. Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you are in your corner of the world. I got a couple of good articles to get into today in a discussion. SBI combines Corda Blockchain and Ripple Tech for S Coin local currency. And I am not sure who approved a title like S Coin. Very interesting. No joke, it took me a little bit to believe that this was even a real article with a title like that. Japan's SBI Holdings, an investor in both R3 and Ripple, announced a new S-Coin platform that uses R3's enterprise blockchain Corda to issue regional currencies, SBI says. It started testing the coins with group employees this month, and the purpose is a digital currency issuance platform for electronic money. SBI also has the MoneyTap platform uh, developed using Ripple Tech to enable bank-to-bank -bank payments, and most Japanese bank payments can only function during office hours, but MoneyTap payments work 24-7. Additionally, MoneyTap enables retail merchants to accept bank payments, and the aim is for these MoneyTap merchants also to accept S-Coins in addition to bank payments. So somebody had a good laugh when they titled that an S-Coin. The first thought that comes to mind is when they had Justin's son drunk at the bar saying that he was selling his S-Coins. The group is promoting regional revitalization projects and many of the money tap partners are regional. So local currencies may be issued as part of this initiative. And there's plenty of competition for local coins in Japan. The Mizuho Bank has its J coin issued with 60 banks. And Japan's biggest bank, MUFG, is about to launch the MUFG coin in association with the Hot Pepper Gourmet restaurant booking website. Regional digital currencies are also a feature in South Korea and have been distributed uh, as issue at hand relief. And meanwhile, as previously reported, the SBI has a wide range of investments in the blockchain sector, including a recent investment in Nomura's security token startup Boostry. And for now, SBI is especially pushing its SBI R3 joint venture to promote the core of blockchain in Japan. And recently, SBI has included an XRP in its dividend payments, and the digital currency is associated with Ripple. R3 and Ripple were also involved in a protracted legal battle over billions of dollars of XRP and because X or because R3 secured options on a large quantity of XRP in exchange for consulting and introductions, Ripple alleged that the services were never rendered. It's rumored that SBI claimed to help in settlement negotiations, which resulted in a significant amount of XRP being paid to R3 likely in the hundreds of millions. That's something that we've also discussed here on this channel. And that's another point, you know, we want to get into as there was a few different um, conversations with uh, asking why we haven't focused so much on Ripple lately. But I mean, over the past, we're coming up on 10 months of this channel, we have literally connected Ripple and XRP to the entire financial system. There is no one that we haven't connected either direct or indirectly to Ripple over our videos. We don't do the hype uh, headlines. We don't hype up our channel. If you follow this channel, you're well informed, but we don't want to insult you. We know that if you follow this channel, you're probably already very intelligent and you understand we're not going to share anything on this channel that does not affect your investment, that does not increase its value and price in that investment. And as a quick reminder, the favorites of this channel, the top three which we mostly discuss, are Ripple, Stellar, and VeChain. Break that down, it's very simple, to XRP, XLM, and VET or if it connects to that and affects, again, our investment in those, that is something we discuss. You know, for those who are looking for the hype, who are for looking for 
100% inaccuracy. There are other channels for that, but we do not do that here. We see people constantly on Twitter who are absolutely 100% wrong with their price estimates, with their date estimates, constantly, constantly overhyping people. On this channel, we do not promote FOMO because, again, that is reckless spending and investment. Again, we don't want to insult you because we know if you follow this channel, you are already very intelligent. Another thing here, which we find very interesting because on this channel, again, we try to keep you very informed and we will never charge you a penny. If you watch this channel, it will always be free and we're going to share information that it will take months for other channels to eventually discuss. On the R3 Corda, the other benefit is Zenfin. Zenfin partnered with R3 Corda with its uh, consortium of blockchain platforms over 200 plus financial institutions. So anytime that you hear Corda, the f two thoughts immediately that should come to your mind are XRP and Zenfin. So again, that is why we do discuss that because the Ripple, Stellar and Ethereum are the basis of the entire new financial system and Zenfin is based off of Ethereum. It is their hybrid blockchain. And as we've discussed in video, they've stated directly from the financial institutions that it will be the hybrid blockchains on DLT that do make a dent in the financial universe. The next article of discussion is Israel's stock exchange says it is launching a blockchain platform for securities lending. As we get down into the article, the Tel Aviv Stock Exchange, TASE, has said it is launching a new blockchain platform that it claims will become the one-stop shop for lending securities in the country. The TASE said Monday the central bank or the central blockchain securities lending platform will provide a single national market where Israeli institutions can lend securities directly to one another. The platform is set to go live on November 2nd. It is based in the city of Tel Aviv. TASE is the only public stock exchange in Israel. Blockchain facilitates peer-to-peer -peer trading and escrow, all with near-guaranteed immutability, the exchange said in a statement. Not only does the new platform give traders greater flexibility and versatility, but it can also cut costs and enhance security, it added. This replaces a complicated and disjointed lending system and allows the securities lending market to reach its full potential, TASE concluded. The blockchain securities lending system has been testing phase since March of 2020. Also, too, I want to give a quick thank you to Advi Cochina, my favorite chef on the planet. Thank you so much for your support of this channel. You're greatly appreciated. And as I get into a second article on the same discussion, I'm going to scroll down and show you what is very intriguing about this. As you get into the discussion, you will see that the centralized solution uses DLT Hyperledger Sawtooth. By sharing the data between organizations, there is no need for reconciliations, which makes lending and unwinding positions faster and cheaper. And I think they meant faster and cheaper. TASE outlined the benefits of peer-to-peer -peer transaction smart contracts, security through immutability, and cost reductions. And knowing that this runs on Hyperledger Sawtooth, I wanted to pull that up just to show you. Hyperledger Sawtooth is an enterprise distributed ledger, aka blockchain project. Remember, blockchain had a negative connotation. They renamed it distributed ledger, just like crypto is now called digital currency, digital assets. Again, blockchain is simply distributed ledger technology. Our design philosophy targets keeping distributed ledgers distributed and making smart contracts safe, particularly for enterprise use. And fitting with this enterprise focus, Sawtooth is also highly modular. This enables enterprises and consortia to make policy decisions that they are best equipped to make. And we are an open source project under the Hyperledger umbrella. 
and we welcome working with individuals and companies interested in the advancement of distributed ledger technology. Please see the community section for ways to interact and become a part of the Sawtooth community. And as we get down into the discussion of the Sawtooth, we're going to point out a few important areas. Additional transaction families provide models for specific areas. And as we get into the Seth, enables the creation and execution of smart contracts. And this transaction family integrates the Hyperledger Burrow implementation of the Ethereum virtual machine, the EVM, into the Hyperledger Sawtooth framework using the Sawtooth Go SDK. And then let's scroll down into a different section here. And the second approach is based on traditional Byzantine fault tolerance, BFT algorithms, and uses multiple rounds of explicit votes to achieve consensus. Ripple and Stellar developed consensus protocols that extend traditional BFT for open participation. Are you excited yet? And again, as we discuss here, the basis of the new system is the Ethereum, Ripple, and Stellar. They are not the exclusive ones. They are not the, even the only ones, but they are the major focus of the new financial system. And again, guys, I want to say a final thought. Success isn't just about what you accomplish in your life. It's about what you inspire others to do. And again, remember, this is not financial advice. It is for entertainment purposes only. Much love to all of you, and we will catch you in the next one.